Hi, I'm Andrew. And I am Minna. Have you found your fountain of youth? Ever since ancient history, humans have been searching for ways to look and feel younger, to preserve the vitality and youthfulness, and to live forever. In ancient Chinese history, people used to have to praise a king with 10,000 years of life before they can be dismissed. Not only do we all wish to have a longer life, but we all want to live a happy, healthy life. Modern medication has advanced to the point that your life can be extended by many years, even, when, even if you have chronic degenerative diseases. But how will your quality of life suffer if you depend on medication and medical treatment to stay alive? Will you still be able to fulfill your dreams? Will you still be strong enough to take care of your family? Will you have the mobility to play with your children? Will you have the energy to help with your community? Will you have the vitality to travel, to go on adventures with your loved one? Or will you always be sick and tired? Will you be confined to your locality? Worse yet, will you be confined to your bed? Are you depending on your family to take care of you? Will you be a financial burden to your spouse and to your children? We all naturally grow old. Now, growing old can be fun and filled with joy and love only if we are healthy. But how? You may be curious about how to eat better, how to exercise smarter, and how to take care of your skin so that you can look and feel younger even as you grow older. And yes, we have an online program that's coming up that will show you how to do just that. But here we talk about something else. To stay forever young, there are three things that you need in your lives. The first one is new challenges. At some point in your life, you become too comfortable with where you are in your careers, your health situation, and in your intimate relationships. You basically became too complacent with your situation. Now, it's important to constantly go outside your comfort zone. We are all destined to be more than what we actually already are. As a couple, we like challenges and we are constantly looking for new challenges. The more you tell us we can't do something, the more we rise up to the challenge and prove that you're wrong. Constantly facing new challenges is one way to keep your vitality and your will to live. This applies to all areas in your life. You may be stagnant in your career because you've become too comfortable in your current position and your current salary. You may have a fixed mindset about your health. You believe that old age is to blame for all your health issues. You become essentially fat, dumb, and slow. You claim that your younger version of you was stronger, fitter, and faster. But were you really? Let me ask you this. Do you know someone who is the same age or even perhaps older than you who is faster, stronger, and fitter than you? Chances are that you do. If so, then what's stopping you from becoming more like them? A better version of you. The secret is to take on new challenges. Harriet Thompson was 92 years old when she finished a rock and roll marathon in San Diego in just under seven and a half hours. Did you get that? She was 92 years old. You can be as healthy and as strong as you want as long as you choose to become stronger and healthier. You must be dedicated to it and you must take action on becoming strong and healthy every single day. For example, let's say you want to be a marathon runner just like Harriet, but you have never ran before and you have no idea where to start. Well, here's how you start. Take the first step. Start by walking for 15 to 20 minutes a day and see how you feel and record the distance that you walked. And then every day, add a little more distance. It will get easier day by day and you can increase the rate of your walk for the same distance as time goes by. Soon you will notice you're walking faster and much further. In no time, you'll be able to jog the distance and eventually become a runner. But only if you accept the challenge 
and if you do the work. You need challenges in your intimate relationship as well. You may start out as lovers and you were infatuated with each other. And you, and you want to learn, learn more about each other when you first fell in love. But as your relationship grew, you became too comfortable with the patterns of life. Eventually, you went from lovers to roommates. You still stay together, but there is no more passion between the two of you anymore. But it doesn't have to be that way. When you have found your one true love, you should be passionately in love your whole life, not just living together like roommates or best friends. Challenge yourself to keep up with that spark in your relationship. Surprise them. Leave them little post-it notes and say you love them. Help them with the chores that they hated to do. Pursue a dream together. Take on new adventures together. Challenge yourself to be a better husband or wife, partner or lover. There is always room for improvement. Now, number two is to think younger to be younger. Studies have shown that your life expectancy is determined by your biological age and not your chronological age. So don't let your age be the excuse for missing out on life, expect life experiences with your loved one. What do people that are 10 or 20 years old younger than you, what do they do? How do they think? What do they believe in? And of course, I'm talking to all of you that are 40 and above. It would be silly if you were still in your 20s or 30s. Now, having a younger mindset open all types of doors. You will not only look younger, you will also have the energy to match. Nowadays, people are living longer and longer lives. Wouldn't it be great if you feel younger and more vibrant? If you're in your 60s, how good would it be to feel like you're in your 40s? When you retire, you're essentially starting a new life. Wouldn't it be exciting if you have the energy to go and do whatever you want, rather than thinking about how you're turning old and there's nothing for you to do? Be as young as you feel and own it. Find your inner child and live the life of a younger you. The third one. This is a big one that almost everyone failed as we age. We're referring to negativity and the unwillingness to change and to forgive and to let go. Holding on to resentment for things in your past will not only stress you out endlessly all day long, but also make you unhappy. Frowning all day will make you look older and more tired. Now go to the mirror and take a good look at yourself when you frown and look angry. Now look again. This time, smile and think happy thoughts. Do you see the difference? It takes 16 muscles in your face to frown and only 4 muscles to smile. Now imagine frowning most of the time because you feel resentful. How those 16 muscles are crunching up your face. Slowly, constantly engraving all those wrinkles into your face. Not being able to let go also affects the loved ones around you. When you are angry all the time, the people around you, they feel that anger and guess what? They channel it right back to you. Therefore, aging them as well. Not only will you look older when you're angry, you feel older too because anger causes a lot of toxic stress to the body, causing your blood pressure to rise and causes inflammation throughout your body which can lead to all sorts of degenerative diseases. So, what do we suggest? Stop thinking about the past. Stop obsessing about things that may have pissed you off, what that person did or didn't do, for you or even to you and start living in the moment and see all the positive things that person brings into your life. Rather than thinking about how bad a job your wife does at keeping the house clean, think about what an amazing cook or lover she may be. We all have our strengths and weaknesses and we didn't marry a wife to be our cleaning lady or French maid unless of course that's one of your fantasies. 
Just kidding, girls. We really don't think like that. So learn to see the strengths, love them, and constantly strive to learn and see the amazing things and the reasons you fell in love with the person in the first place. And stop looking for flaws. Both of you will not only be happier, but you will look younger in the process. And of course, eat well, exercise, and stay healthy. We believe that healthy relationship starts with health and we help couples achieve total, total success in health and relationships through nutrition, exercise, mindset, and lifestyle. So if you know someone who can benefit from this blog, share with them. Let them know that you care about them. And of course, leave us any comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, love what you live and live what you love.